Hello and welcome to a new vlog. This is the S993A desoldering gun that uh, I got from Banggood and uh, I showed in an earlier video. Some people uh, raised uh, some questions in the comment section. They said uh, they have owned uh, the same mo model and they have found problems with the uh, PCB inside the handle. Uh, I even saw a picture uh, online where uh, that actual PCB uh, blew up because of a short circuit probably so I decided to investigate that uh, issue so I will open my unit and see if there is anything wrong with the uh, circuit inside and also we'll take a look uh, at some uh, other things as well for example the uh, barrel for connecting the um, residual solder uh, I know there are several revisions of this model being sold and uh, the one I got just has this uh, uh, like metal filter stopper this will stop the solder because the solder will shoot this way so it will stop it before reaching the um, cloth filter so this is a nice addition I know there are uh, other revisions which uh, use a spring inside the coil spring that will stop the solder from reaching the uh, filter and I know there are some revisions which don't have anything in here to stop the solder but mine uh, does so it's uh, it's nice that it has that protection the filter won't uh, get damaged so easily now to open this it looks like we have a bunch of screws on this side maybe we'll also have to remove this one here Okay, so looks like we're in quite a big chunky DC motor I see here but let's take a closer look at this uh, PCB and uh, I mean apart from the uh, awful soldering job I don't see any problems I don't see anything that would uh, cause a, a short circuit or a problem like that I mean sure the, the soldering job is not great there is some flux residue but you see that in all kinds of products that doesn't mean it has to be a problem but let's uh, go a bit further and uh, take a look on the other side and the PCB looks just fine on the other side as well so I don't think I'll have any issues with uh, this desoldering gun you see the uh, earth wire goes all the way to here and it's uh, strapped to the actual soldering iron because someone actually said uh, he was measuring some uh, high voltage AC on the tip but in my case the tip is earthed so I'm not seeing any potential with respect to earth um, this should be pretty safe no ESD issues here is something interesting inside this tube that goes to the vacuum pump I can see a spring and I'm not sure the purpose of that spring uh, could it be to maintain the uh, circumference of the tube so that it doesn't get any bends along the way but it's a pretty short distance so I'm guessing a better purpose would be to stop any uh, solder bolts reaching the uh, vacuum pump you do have uh, the uh, first protection inside the uh, chamber you then have the cloth fiber but if any would be if any solder bolts would escape I think it they would be trapped by this uh, spring inside the tube so apart from the um, crusty soldering job the overall interior construction of this desoldering pump is pretty safe to use I'm not seeing anything that um, could cause a problem in here I mean of course you could complain about these uh, non-isolated terminals on the switch on the motor but uh, just as it is it will not cause any problem um, I'm thinking 
maybe the one I saw on the internet with the picture that had like uh, this this board blown up from a short circuit. I'm thinking it could happen if some solder balls would reach the interior of this uh, enclosure and uh, would reach the back of this uh, PCB causing a short circuit. So if this hose would come disconnected and the filter would uh, not be there, then some solder balls could enter the enclosure and could cause a short circuit. Or it could have been just um, a bad unit from the factory, but mine looks just fine. Just make sure you keep track of your screws because there are three different sizes. These uh, small ones, one on each side. The uh, medium ones, the three medium ones go here, here and here. And uh, the other three ones are the long ones. So I hope this video is useful for those of you who are uh, curious about how this thing looks inside. To me, it looks uh, pretty safe to use. I wouldn't uh, have any problem using this. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.